We don't have much time. There is a hole under there. This is all made in one piece. How great is that? What's your next move? Well, I guess we have started the mess, so let's clean it up. Not sure removing the paint is going to help. True, true, true. It's a lot of dirt, oil, bad smell. I got away uh, the old storage crate for the batteries. I thought it was uh, glued upon the engine bed, but it seems it was actually part of the structure. The good thing is that I could now see that the underside of the engine bed is actually not plywood with fiberglass. It's, it's pure fiberglass, which means it's not rotten at all. That's great to build a solid engine bed upon. I'm going to do some drilling to loosen up the access debris that is in the holes where there used to be bolts. It's quality control, number 69. That's a good thing. Why? We always like quality, don't we? And control. Yes. All right, we are about to start with polyester filling the holes in the engine bay. First, we need to clean with acetone to get excess oil and dirt away. So, the polyester will stick inside the hose. Then we need, of course, to have a, a gas mask, gas filtering mask. We are now ready to mix the polyester with a hardener and add some microfiber. We are going to fill the holes in the engine bed. We use polyester as it is softer than the epoxy. There is no need for epoxy. So we are making this mix quite thin as it will be poured into the holes and then there is nowhere to escape as far as we know. We want it to, to be easy to pour.
no no major consequences even if there was a bit of a spill i think this was great let's repeat it you have minutes before this will start to harden when we put these two components together there is a chemical reaction that will make this to a gel in a few minutes and within an hour it will be hard the difference between epoxy and polyester this way is that the polyester is way faster faster at what it, it cures way faster than the, the epoxy it, it might be an advantage it might be a disadvantage we don't have much time to get this into to the engine bay hose Yes, I'm very thirsty. Mm. Thank you, my friend. I will use epoxy to glue the plywood to the engine bed made of polyester glass. And the reason, of course, is that uh, the polyester is a much stronger bond. It's about four times. I will uh, thicken it with West system the microfiber to avoid that it is too thin. So then we are mixing two third of epoxy base with uh, one third of hard now. So what we can do now is to have uh, thin epoxy directly on the wood. Uh, that will make it soak deeper into the wood and then we put microfiber into the rest to make sure that uh, it it has a layer of thickened epoxy I should of course have a, a brush to paint it on but uh, I'm not using that right now as you can see This stick quite well. Oh, there we go. You don't want this too thick, I guess. You want it to stick to the polyester as well. This is too thin. It's almost like water. Way better. Ten minutes. Oh, that was hot. Very hot. Okay, first time using epoxy for me and I did thicken it a little bit less than I should. It is slightly on the soft side, but it will sort of drain through. I think it will be okay, it will still stick, but the lesson is slightly thicker. Polyester is already cured, but uh, epoxy will take time.
result of yesterday's epoxying was actually better than I feared. I was thinking this was a, a bit on the thin side, but it seems to have cured just about right. We'll uh, start the further work. Sorry. We've come a long way gluing the new engine bed. There's more work to be done and uh, in next video we will continue the work. I hope uh, this has been interesting and uh, if you have any th tips, any corrections to me, please leave it in the comment below. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I uh, really hope you liked it and uh, if you did, please consider to leave a like as it really helps us to let other people watch these videos as well. Also please consider subscribing as you will then see next videos of this. Until next time have a nice evening, have a nice weekend, have a nice whatever. I guess many of you know me as Helge the Norwegian but I'm also of some called Captain Pegwatch. I have a friend in England calling me that. <laughs>